Hey everyone, it's Masterpiece. And I got another vintage collection review. This time it's gonna be Saint Marais or Yak Face, as most people know him as. This is a part of the 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi releases that Hasbro did. There's an image of him for the card back. This is pretty much the same, I believe it's the same card back image that they did for the one that they released with the sail barge, HasLab. I do have that one. I have mine in like a case and I just kind of put it in storage and just haven't really looked at it since. So I do have this guy, but uh, I have him sealed. So I'm glad that they released, re-released this guy so that I can have one for the barge because I don't have one yet. A lot of people didn't like that uh, Hasbro wasted a slot on Yak Face. I, however, I'm glad that they released him. I don't know if they did any improvements, but uh, he looks like a great figure. I knew that I was going to pick him up as soon as they uh, announced this guy's release. So, as far as accessories, I think he comes with one less accessory than the Sail Barge release, and that said, this guy doesn't come with the shot glass. And he obviously doesn't come with the coin, the collector's coin, which is fine. I don't really care and I have a few shot glasses because uh, I got the R2-D2 Return of the Jedi one so he's kind of like a bartender he has like the shot glasses all around um, his head and then I also got the other red and white uh, astromech that uh, goes with that scene that also comes with a few shot glasses so I'm good on that. Doesn't really matter to me. I'm not gonna open the HasLab one, but yeah, this one just comes with his Vibro staff. Those look like some really good soft goods. In the back, you can see that it's VC-132. But yeah, let's check it out. Yak face. You've seen this before. Nothing great about it, except it's, it seems to me like it's a little bit glossier other than previous releases of um, Jabba's goons that had this exact accessory. It was more of like a matte finish. This is more shinier. This is the main focus though. Yak face all the way. He's usually hanging out in the back with uh, Bosk, kind of just having a drink and laughing, enjoying himself. As far as articulation goes, I wouldn't expect too much. He does have your basic ankles, doesn't have rocker ankles. There's a knee with the swivel on top. He can do the splits, which is great because he's got, uh, he doesn't have the ball joint hips. I think it's called the ball and swivel hips, but really good articulation. Swivel at the waist can't do, or yeah, he can do crunches a little bit. This kind of soft goods trench coat thing is really nice. I'm not sure if this right here is a part of his body or maybe it's a shirt or something. I don't know. But I think that would have been nice if it was uh, soft goods as well. Uh, it doesn't really get into the way of his shoulder articulation. So that's good. Elbows, wrists. The wrists are pretty nice. There's quite a bit of articulation with that. Pretty intense articulation if you ask me. I don't think you're going to need that much uh, articulation at the wrist, but hey, it's there. So it's the same with the other arm. Now, as far as the head goes, 
he's got some mad articulation there. He could go, he could look up quite a bit, but can't really look down that much. I feel like it's gonna pop out of its socket if I keep doing that, but side to side is really good. Just look at that face. Good paint apps on them too. Let me know in the comment section what's your favorite background character. Is it Yak Face? Is it, uh, let's see, what, who's another one? Um, the Nikto Skiff Guard, the Weequay Skiff Guards. Is it some of the, one of those Duros in uh, A New Hope in the bar, the cantina scene? I don't know what their names are, but I know there's a lot of hardcore Star Wars fans that know every given name of the cantina patrons and even like of the other uh, movies of the original trilogy. Really strange character. But very iconic in the Return of the Jedi mo movie. So yeah, this is the last one of the reissues that Hasbro announced at the same time. So uh, I previously just did the review for Wolf. I'll leave a link to that video on the top right of this video right now. And if you want to check the rest of them out, you could do so on the Vintage Collection playlist that I have. But yeah, that's it for this video. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.